everybody, my name is Chill Scales and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are doing another episode of Nerd Cave News. Unfortunately, we are having to do it a little bit recorded. Didn't find time for it in my live format for this weekend, and I was behind on a lot of tech topics. So we're going to talk about a lot of them today, as well as some new stuff that has come to light at the beginning of this week. Let's get started. The first topic that I wanted to talk about today is YouTuber, Video Game Donkey. A lot of us love his reviews of video games. He is fantastic. Thank you, Donkey, for everything that you do. Is launching his own indie publishing company called Big Mode. Now, what do I, what do I think about this? It's, it's one of those things where it's like, yes, YouTubers and content creators and all these social media kids are phenomenal at marketing and things like that. Do I think they can handle a publishing company? Yes, and here are the three pillars as to why I think that. There are three pillars that I think really make up a publishing company. One is obviously the marketing of the game. Two is the game testing of a game. And I think Donkey does both of those things well already. I think obviously he's a YouTuber. He's made a name for himself. He has a lot of subscribers and a lot of very diligent fans that I think will immediately uplift a lot of indie publishings just because they're indie games. Like a lot of indie games struggle to even get 100,000 downloads or even 100,000 people to even look at their product, let alone the millions that Donkey commands. So the marketing aspect and the game testing aspect, obviously he has played a crap ton of games. I think that has value. And so being able to have those two things in the ability of a publishing company, I think Donkey has the possibility to make this a really, really successful thing. Now, a lot of people are looking at the third aspect of publishing, which is actually compressing discs and actually like getting things on Steam and stuff like that. And I don't think he provides a service that is much different than any other publishing company, but I think he will command more respect than people give him credit for. And that is the big pull of Big Mode and of his new publishing company. I think this is a good step for Donkey to obviously make a little bit more money, but also leave his imprint on the gaming industry, which I think at the very beginning of, you know, everything that he started is the goal in his mind. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. The next thing that I want to talk about is a little bit darker. We all know how Xbox live chats can truly corrupt a person. And apparently the freaking Department of Homeland Security thinks the same thing because they just issued 700 thousand dollars to a research firm to determine if there is a real link to extremism in gaming while the whole point is to try and find white nationalist groups and white supremacist groups to um you know sift them out see how they actually recruit people and even maybe even terrorist organizations are recruiting people through games like call of duty battlefield and just like really intense really action-packed and dark games I think there is a merit to the discussion that they are uh, beginning here and starting research for. The problem that I find is I don't know that the US government should be the one giving funds to people. I feel like this should be more of an educational topic to a lot of you know colleges and universities to research for themselves because I feel like they're just trying to kind of be like, hey, we're fixing this problem by throwing money at it. And obviously there's a problem in gaming and Stop saying gaming is always the problem. Gaming is not always the problem. There are many other things systemically that you have yet to fix, America, that are the problem. And I think a lot of people need to get off of this narrative that gaming is the fucking crux of all of the world's problems and racists abound in Xbox and PlayStation lobbies and PC gaming master race? How dare you? There are things that are meant to be lighthearted jokes. There are things that are obviously very darker and more nefarious. And I think those things should be researched, vetted and destroyed. Again, I don't think the US government should be the one doing this. There are plenty of colleges and universities already doing these studies. As long as they're just giving the money and you know crossing their fingers, that's, that's all we can ask for. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below it's an advertisement time rogue energy you've seen me drink it on stream you've seen it in other of my videos know that you have a referral code and a link down in the description so that you get a little bit of a discount on rogue energy now why should you pick rogue energy over any of the other competitors out there like g fuel well, for me, it goes down to two things. One, it's a cleaner experience. I have spent my entire life, whether putting protein powders in my protein shakes for workouts or using the G Fuel competitor to this, the grittiness that you get from putting powder into water, it's disgusting. It's
it's just gritty and gross. And the way that they designed their shaker in Rogue Energy and the way that they've designed their powder, it's a completely dissolved, completely great experience overall. I think it's fantastic completely dissolves. They have options for caffeine, they have options for hydration, they have options for extreme, where you get a bigger dose of caffeine, where you get more electrolytes, where you get more amino acids. And overall, I think they just produce a better product, better tasting flavors, and an overall cleaner experience. If you wanna check out any of the options that they have available on their website, go ahead and use the affiliate link down below and then use our referral code SKILLS to get a percentage off your cart. Thank you for accepting that offer and I will see you guys in the next topic. All right, this one's simple. I knew I was gonna have to talk about it. I'm not talking about any of the other drama, but this one, this one is definitely something that I wanna talk about. Twitch plans to cut subscription revenue for some of its top streamers and push towards advertising. Obviously, we know that the 70-30 split is disappearing, except for the first $100,000 for those top streamers who already have that deal. Uh, but going forward, they're only doing 50-50 splits on paid subscriptions on Twitch. And it's really just... They had such a dub with the gambling thing, right? They had such a good thing going with the whole gambling narrative and finally cracking down on it and creating all of these safety nets for people in the gambling problem sphere right but cutting subscription revenue is just a hard l it's so bad and then forcing people to s recoup the funds that they're missing from the 70 30 split by running more ads like how is that possibly a good thing how have you ever seen a test go on in your environment in your platform and say yes people love our advertising yes there are people who are putting up with it and people who hate it but have to deal with it because it's your platform dude it just so bad it's just so negligible obviously we could go on for days and days and days about this topic and so many people already have my opinion of this narrative is the fact that twitch is slowly killing itself and the second the second that they get rid of prime it's game over and that is where they're going do not think that they are not trying to cut as many different margins as possible so that they can make as much profit as possible because that's all Amazon cares about. They are Amazon Prime Video 2. They are not even Twitch anymore and it is showing night and day every single time they make a decision like this. I'm not saying YouTube is the answer. As much as I love YouTube and what I'm doing over here, YouTube isn't always the answer, but Twitch is most certainly not gonna be your future proof. So just keep that in mind. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. All right, it seems the next thing that we have to talk about is Google losing its appeal to the EU and getting fined a record of $4 billion. Now, this is in regards to an antitrust lawsuit that has been going on due to Android's mobile operating system being used by some people and not other people and being pretty restrictive on other search engines. At the end of the day, this is just Google getting trust busted by the EU for, you know, at the end of the day, being a big tech conglomerate. Most of the big tech conglomerates, whether you have Samsung, Apple, Google, a Facebook, Meta, whatever you want to call them, just taking all of your data, manufacturing exactly what they want out of it, and then making it so that you're locked into their devices and their ecosystems forever. I mean, dude, like it's, it's a story as old as time at this point where Google and all of these big tech companies need to just be antitrust busted. And I think the EU is really sticking it to Google, Apple, and Facebook at this point to just literally demolish any chance they have of actually making you know the change that they want to see and actually like being a little bit more pro-consumer so i think this is a good thing obviously google getting trust busted in any way whether it's for their android platform for uh ad placement and advertising scandals like they've got going in the texas supreme court right now it's just in general i think <laughs> at the end of the day we need to trust bust all of these uh big tech companies so that they stop having a stranglehold on all of our data and the way that we function with their products and just other ecosystems within the tech space, whether it's with like them acquiring Fitbit or um, just making Android kind of best fits all when you're not doing Apple. I just, Google deserves this $4 billion loss as much as I am a subsidiary of Google's wealth because the YouTube platform is propped up by it. I think they deserve this. And so does Apple. So does Meta. So does everybody else. We'll see how it goes. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And then, of course, with the release of NVIDIA's 4000 series of GPUs, we were all pissed about the price. We were all pissed about the lack of performance and the two types of 4080s. Now they're letting us know that go fuck yourself, bit more rich. Like, I. Uh, gamers! 
We can't keep letting these companies get away with just price gouging us like this. This is the time to take a stand. As much as I'm an AMD fanboy, I, I admit I'm an AMD fanboy and there are some things that I choose AMD over just because I like having one seamless system processor to GPU. It's one of those things where it's like they are just gouging us because they can. You saw it with EVGA leaving as a board partner earlier this week, earlier this month. God, Nvidia just thinks they can get away with it. This is just the most frustrating part of it to me. The fact that they are just like, no, you know what? We set the price standard. We set the power standard. We set this standard. This is what you have to deal with. Get on the boat, pay the money, or go fuck off. Why can't, yes, they are innovative and their product is so fucking good. RTX has been a phenomenal graphics processor for since its conception in the 2000 series of GPU, but they are just taking advantage of the fact that they have a really fucking good product and a really good monopoly on the market. And again, tech companies need to be a little bit trust busted because even, even in the GPU space, even though AMD is a minor player in this GPU space still, they need to break up into even smaller segments. With Intel coming into the market, I think it's super time for us to show Nvidia that it's time to get off your fucking high horse and compete with the rest of us. They have a really good product, why can't you compete price competitively, especially with your Founders Edition cards when they are like at MSRP? Overall, I think this is just a shitty problem that they keep putting on themselves. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And that does it for our recorded episode of Nerd Cave News. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and give the video a like. If you have any thoughts about any of the topics that we had a conversation about today, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below or in our community discord where you can have conversations with fellow community members of this channel uh, and, you know, talk about any of the topics we talked about today. If you want to see more of my content, whether it's my shorts, my live streams or more Nerd Cave News, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and I'll see you later. Okay, bye.